Good. Ooh. Math channels? Sometimes. All right. So now the next one I'm going to work on is f of g of x. All right. So now what this is stating is now what I'm simply going to want to do is take my function f of x and divide it by my function g of x. All right. So we take our f of x function, which is going to be x squared divided by negative x plus 1. All right. Now we look at this and we say, can we simplify this really at all? And then you cannot separate this and try canceling out or doing any dividing out. This is a whole term by itself. This whole term divides into x squared. So there's no real simplifying we can have. But what we do need to do is create a constraint. right? The only number, if I was going to say 1 divided by x, the only number that x cannot be is going to be what, Nick? What is, in this equation, what is the only number x cannot be? Zero, thank you. Wow, you have a really soft, you know, high-pitched voice. Yes, the only value you cannot divide by zero, right? So the only value that x cannot be in this case is zero. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is I want to figure out what then is going to make this denominator zero. So I write negative x plus one equals zero. Then what I do is I solve for x. So I add x to the other side, and therefore I say x equals one. So in that case, if x is equal to 1, this denominator is going to be equal to 0, correct? So therefore, we can say that x cannot equal 1. Because if you divide, you can't simplify the division any further. But now we need to understand that x cannot equal 1. So what we do is we just put a constraint. x cannot equal 1. You have to make sure when you're dividing, you have to write in that constraint. All right, you can't simplify any further, but we have to make sure now we write the constraint that x cannot equal 1. Because if x equaled 1, what would you get on the denominator? You get 0, right? Good. Now let's just look at it the other way. 